Hey, how's it going everybody? My name is Jeremy and today I'm going to show you how to fix the horizon over time in your 360 degree videos. Now if you have no clue on how to get started with 360 degree videos, I did a guide and if you click right up here it'll take you to that. It's a 17 minute video that shows you exactly what you need, like what software, what hardware, and everything else to get started with 360 degree videos. Now in my videos, I use the Freedom 360 mount which holds six GoPro Hero 4 Blacks and for the software, I use Color Auto Pano Video Pro 2 and Color Auto Pano Giga 4. Now, like I said, I'm gonna show you how to fix the horizon over time, so let's get started. Okay, so I already went ahead and synchronized and stitched my six GoPro clips and I use the current selection. It's gonna be a lot more accurate, especially for this clip because I have movement. Now the next step is to straighten out the horizon. So I have the the marker here right at the beginning of the clip and I'm just going to be I'm just going to click right in the window here and just pull down on the the video to straighten out the horizon. So just a few more things here and uh that looks that looks pretty straight to me. So I'm going to hit apply. Now before I continue, you want to make sure you go to edit settings and then go to the edition tab and make sure you have auto cut transitions before editing. That's gonna make things a lot easier for you in the next step. So the next step is to, uh, we don't need this window right now, so I'm gonna click this uh, tool here and I'm gonna do compute stabilization. Uh, this is gonna scan the whole video clip and see uh, how much or see how well that it could stabilize the shot. So this takes a little bit of time so I'm going to stop it and we'll come right back. Okay so it's done scanning the clip and basically 100% is a little bit too much. Actually it's a lot too much. So I'm going to go to uh, 10% because I don't have that much crazy movement in the shot so 10% is going to be good for me. So that's fine. Now the next step is to click this button down here and double click anywhere into the horizon tab and stretch that clip out to the length of the whole clip you know the blue and red bars here so the problem with this example that I have uh, for this tutorial is that I don't have the horizon doesn't change so much but this this concept still applies for any video so this same technique is gonna work for anything that you're trying to do so the you want to start off with the middle point so I'm gonna go straight to the middle here I'm gonna bring this marker here to the middle and uh, the horizon changed a little bit but not too much but I still want to make a minor adjustment here and just click apply so every time you click apply it basically creates like a keyframe and it'll slowly uh, fix the horizon over that time so from 12 seconds to 20 seconds it's going to adjust that horizon to that same point that I just fixed so you want to continuously go to the middle points and adjust the horizon over time so here pull this down a little bit and that looks good hit apply so you're going to continue this process until you have uh, a perfect uh, horizon throughout the whole video Okay, so I straightened out the horizon throughout the whole clip. You can see that I have a bunch of these different uh, settings here down below. So what I want to do now is just export it and see how it looks. So the settings that I use is MP4. I created my own preset because I found out that you know the the presets that are set up in a, uh, Auto Pano Video Pro 2 aren't uh, that great. The bit rates are really low. So what I did was create a preset that's 4K at 50 megabits per second and the quality is really great. Uh, so that's going to export now, it's going to take a little bit of time and we'll check it out and see what it looks like after it's done. So I've got two clips rendered out here, the one on the left is with the horizon fixed and stabilization and the one on the right I didn't touch it at all, I just exported it as it was. So like I said before, this isn't the greatest example for fixing the horizon over time but you would use these same techniques that I showed you in this tutorial to do this exact same thing. So the clip on the left we can see is the horizon stays pretty straight throughout the whole thing. I could have tweaked it a lot more to get the horizon to be a lot more straight throughout the whole clip, but just those minor adjustments makes a big difference compared to the untouched 360 clip. Okay, now here's another example, which I think is probably better than the last, 
If you pay attention to the right side, it's untouched and the horizon moves a lot. There's a lot of movement. And what I did with the left side was keep my fiance as the center point and basically stabilized it and fixed the horizon over time and it looks so much better than the untouched version. Now the number one thing that you probably noticed from this is that her head keeps getting cut off. So um, I didn't go in and fix that, but there is ways to fix that and I plan on doing another tutorial on how to fix uh, stitching errors like this one. So stay tuned for those. All right guys, so I hope you found that tutorial helpful. If you have any other questions or comments, you can leave them down below. And just keep in mind in the description, I'll have a link to the Freedom 360 mount and also the stitching software. So if you're looking to purchase that, I'll have affiliate links down below. It helps support my channel if you purchase through those links. So thank you so much if you do that. So if you have any other ideas for a tutorial that I should do for 360 videos, let me know down below. And that's it. I hope you guys found this video helpful and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.